Hello everybody and thanks for tuning in. So if you follow my channel you know that I have uh, young kids and we don't travel a lot because they're involved in everything over the weekends. But I have a trip coming up and we're headed up to see a high school friend of mine who lives in Minnesota. And the last time we were up there he and I were talking about RC because when we were teenagers and stuff we used to have, we used to be involved in RC. He had a uh, Bigfoot and I had a grasshopper, and we'd rip them up and down the streets in front of our houses, and then eventually we built a track in our backyard, or in my backyard, and uh, we had a lot of fun, and he indicated he really wants to get back into it, something that he can do to kind of de-stress, and kind of the same reason why I got back into it was I got tired of just working all the time, and then when I got home, I felt like I was working more, or I was doing home remodeling projects, so he wants to get back into this, so I'm going to take a bunch of stuff up there with me, and we're going to try to get him hooked. And when the last time we were up there, they have some really fantastic parks in the area. And they must be on federal lands or something, because they're free, but yet they have staff there. And our kids just loved it, and I thought, you know, these places are so nice, we should go and, and fly around there and do some fun things while the kids are playing on those jungle gyms and whatnot. And it occurred to me that we have to walk generally a little ways from the uh, parking lot to uh, where we sit and watch the kids or where the trees are and stuff. And this is a solution for charging in those situations. Uh, also, if you're someone who backpacks and you goes to cool locations and you're not near your car or power source, this will get it done for you. There are other sources out, or other solutions for that same scenario out there, um, but this one is very inexpensive. I think this was thirty-five or thirty-eight dollars. Um, I got this from GearBest. It arrived here a, a week ago with another product that will be coming up shortly on the channel. And it's dead simple. My 10,000 milliamp battery hasn't shown up, but that's what I'm going to take with me. But for this video, we're just going to use a little 1300 mAh. And what we've got is we've got our power source back here, and then we've got our charging area over here. So we've got where we plug our battery in and where we put our balance port in. And obviously on their balance port it says 2 to 6S because 1S batteries don't have any balancing. They're just a single cell. Also on the back we have a fan and that uh, seems to have some sort of temperature regulation built into it because it spins up and spins down. And then this dial over here, you press it in to execute a command and you rotate it to navigate. And this port right here, hopefully you can see that, but there's a little bit of metal there. It almost looks like a headphone jack. But I'm wondering what that port is. So if any of you know, if you have one of these, please drop that in the comments down below. I'm very curious as to what that is. It would be uber cool if you could actually plug in some sort of uh, power adapter so you could plug this into your wall outlets. So if someone was getting started in um, quads and, and charging LiPo batteries, you could use this as your starting charger and maybe even more. But let's take a look at how it functions. I've got my little pigtail here I made. Simply plug it in like this, it goes through a self-test. This is the SC608 as it says on the screen, it's a 150 milliwatt charger. ISDT is the company and this is our screen, hopefully you can see that. It's actually pretty nice, um, it's a 2.4 inches and uh, we have these different tasks we can do. We can charge, we can discharge and we can storage charge. And then we can select the different kinds of batteries here. We've got high voltage lipos, we've got lipos, lithium ion, lifes. I'm not sure what PB is. I don't, that doesn't ring a bell. And then we'll have uh, nickel metal hydride as well. Um, so we'll stick with lipo. And then we've got our cell count. I'm going to do a three cell battery. And then we're going to go, we, oh, I'll show you this hole. You can go clear down to 0.1 amps. We can screw scroll all the way down to the bottom to 8 amps so whatever charging rate you prefer now we're all set let's plug in the pigtail so this battery our black wire which is our lead wire goes right down in here it slides in pretty easily Plug in the pigtail, make sure we have everything lined up just right. And then we go down to start. And it's charging. The screen is orange. 
and it gives us a percentage bar up there and it also has a running clock so you can keep track and then it tells you how many cells and the voltage of all those cells right there. This screen when it's done does change to green and uh, it has an audible tone that you'll hear when it's done as well. If you want to start, stop the uh, charging, press our wheel in, you can stop it or you can just go back. And you can also change the amps that it's charging at. So pretty cool. Uh, questions or comments, leave those in the section down below. If you know what that port is over here is for, I suspect it is a headphone jack, but I don't have anything handy to plug into it uh, right here. It, it looks like a 9mm jack, um, but there's just I'm just not sure of it. So that might be a way you could charge this in, um, say, if you're in a hotel room or something like that, and you have others sleeping while you're charging. It wouldn't bother them, and you could have it connected to your headphones. So if you have any questions or comments about this or anything else going on on the channel, just drop those in the comments down below. And uh, if you like this little charger, give it a thumbs up and uh, tell your friends about it if they're looking for a solution similar to this. All right, thanks for watching.